There are many lakes around the world with something strange under their watery wraps, creatures that, every so often, stir the surface. And here is just such a lake, ensconced in lush vegetation, but surrounded by the dry plains of Tsavo National Park in Kenya. Its monster-sized inhabitants are responsible for its very existence. Hippos are a common enough sight in the waterways of Africa. They're renowned for their size and aggressive behavior. But here in the Mzima Springs, they've taken on the mantle of creators. But how do hippos become great gardeners? The answer? They make excellent fertilizer. Hippo dung plus filtered water equals a garden of Eden. The story actually starts in the distant Chulu Hills. Here, the rainfall is considerably higher than on the plains below. And because of the dry volcanic soil up here, the water is almost instantly soaked up the rainwater gathers underground, with streams finally emerging over 30 kilometers away. The Mzima Springs. By now, all the impurities have been filtered out. The water is perfect drinking water, but not perfect living water. The hippos now play their part. When a large group of herbivores have excellent regularity and like spreading it about, they produce the one ingredient this ecosystem lacks, nutrients. The dung that lies on the riverbed feeds insects and their larvae as well as fish. These in turn attract crocodiles and a myriad of fish-eating birds. Even the riverbanks get a liberal showering, encouraging all sorts of vegetation. Mixed with the acacia and toothbrush trees are grasses and shrubs. The whole place teems with life. If it weren't for the hippo heavyweights, this would just be a clear spring in a vast expanse of scrubland. Who would have thought that these vervet monkeys have trees to clamber on because of a bunch of ungainly hippos? Nature's a many splendid thing. It even has its own monster muck spreaders. Wonders will never cease. And that's it.